Oracle Analytics is a great tool for allowing the creation of custom applications by embedding the visualizations that you create within your own websites or web applications. A very popular use case is being able to publish insight from Oracle Analytics publicly. So when the user goes to that website, they don't have to log in. This video will explain how you can set up that using the token-based authentication offered by the Oracle Analytics Cloud embedding framework. Here's an example of navigating to a custom web page where I've not had to log in because in the back end, the tokens are being generated automatically for my embedded OAC content. Here's an overview of how that looks. On the left, you can see the custom application that I just viewed within my browser. On the right hand side, you can see the back end architecture for how the public user access was enabled. I accessed the application, which is hosted on a custom web server, and the code for OAC embedding accessed a token using a script which was running in this case on the Oracle function service. That was fronted by the Oracle API gateway. That script went to the Oracle Identity Cloud Service, IDCS, using an IDCS API to get that token, which was then passed back to the client and offered my authentication uh, behind the scenes. So I didn't have to log in as an end user to that environment. Okay, so how do we go about setting up our system? So the first thing that we will do is uh, look at the Identity Cloud Service. And here I've logged into Oracle Identity Cloud Service as a user who has permission to onboard applications. So what we're going to be doing is creating a custom confidential application within IDCS, which is used as a proxy for my OAC instance, which is actually hosting the, the data that, that I wish to show publicly along with the, the canvases that I've created. So I'll go into the Applications tab and within here I can create a new application. I'm going to create a new confidential application and if I give it a name, uh, I can then scroll through the options. Uh, I'm going to choose Resource Owner and I will be needing to add the resource that I would like to access, which will be my OAC instance. In this case, look for something that starts analytic inst and then the name of the instance. So I can select that and then add it. And then I can scroll through the rest of the settings and finish. You'll now see that my client ID and client secret pops up on the screen. And make a note of those because we'll be using those later when we call the IDCS API, which allows us to get the token that we pass into the HTML for the embedded uh, content. If you miss that, you can always go back to configuration to see the client ID and secret, which is available for your application that you've generated within IDCS. Now you'll notice that at the moment it's not activated, so you can click on activate at this stage and that application is now available for use for generating tokens. So in the next part, we will see how to uh, generate tokens calling that IDCS API and also test it against the OAC embedded content example. So the next stage is to use that confidential application that we've created within IDCS, call the IDCS API for tokens using some information that is available within that confidential application. On screen, you can see a curl command which calls that IDCS token API and the information that you need to get from IDCS in order to do that call and get a token. So here we can see that we would uh, replace this with the instance name 
of our IDCS instance. Here for the authorization basic, we have a base64 encoded client ID and secret, again, which you get from IDCS. And then the grant type uh, is password. The username and the password would, would be the username and password values for a minimally privileged user that you have within uh, the OAC. And that user would typically be a member of the consumer application role. They would have as few privileges as possible within that system. Uh, obviously, they would need to have access to the Canvas project that you're embedding as well as the data. Uh, we'd also recommend that any data that you have within that OAC system is data that is destined to be available publicly. The, the scope value is uh, again taken from, from IDCS. If I go back to the IDCS confidential application, you can see under the token issuance policy section, you would grab the scope from, from that part of the UI. So by taking this curl command and then running that within a terminal, we will see that we will get a bearer token returned to us. Now if we copy this bearer token and uh, embed that into our HTML for our embedding canvas, and then if I save that, I can go back to this web page. This is an error that you'd see if your tokens uh, either expired or you have no tokens there. If I refresh this web page, we're now using that token to authenticate behind the scenes to OAC as that uh, minimally privileged user, and we can see the content uh, from OAC being returned. Uh, so here we have that embedded page on on this uh, web on this web application. So that concludes how we generate tokens to authenticate embedded OAC content.